Welcome back to the M2 channel. So we've got another 2024 M2 G87 chassis. This is in, of course, black sapphire. One of the few colors you can choose for your M2. It's for store inventory. And it's pretty well equipped. Of course, it does not have the carbon package. So it requires a customer P1 order. Let's go over this build in particular. So you can see up front, we do have the lighting package and shadow line package. Lighting package, I think, is a must-have. You get the full LED headlights. And the shadow line package, basically, headlights are much darker. So the surrounds are much darker. Then you get the black exhaust tips as well. So you got M2 badging on the front grill with the horizontal slots, signifying BMW M. The very open front fascia, which I think I've seen a few reports of rocks or other road debris basically killing the car. So maybe you want to think about investing in some of so maybe you want to think about investing in some sort of mesh trim to help protect the radiators and coolers. Over on the side we have a style 930 M wheels, the bicolor wheels. So again the only choice you have in terms of wheels are these ones without going into the M performance or uh, via or port options. So we got the red M compound brake calipers, as well as a tire lottery win with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Take a step back and take in the very lovely side profile of the M2. Again, I think the drawback of Black Sapphire is basically hiding those lines of the car. So the vertical lines in the back of the front fender and in front of the rear fender which accentuate the aggressiveness of the car. This one does have the carbon fiber roof. Now, I think I had said it before, it's $2,900. It's actually $2,600, so it's only off by a few hundred bucks. There's that three-quarter view. All right, so in the back, we got the M2 badging in chrome, our faux diffuser, and our quad exhaust. So the rest of that three-quarter you can see those aggressive hips here with the light hitting it just right. You can get that hood bulge, really aggressive look for the car. All right, I'll note that I can't find the spare or second sticker, so we'll go on the inside, go over some of the options, then step outside to go over pricing on it. that front view. Let's make our way inside. All right, so opening up, we have the black Vernasca leather with the M tricolor seats. So you get the M colors on the seats. M2 badging that lights up on the very well bolstered and comfortable seats. And our controls here for the side bolster adjustment and lumbar support. Again, I would prefer the carbon bucket seats, but that's a pretty hefty option. So you're going to have to spring basically for $10,000 worth of options in order to get those carbon buckets, which are also very hard to come by given the shortages of the carbon buckets. M2 badging on the door sill, and the door card illuminated M trim. All right, so the inside, your standard M steering wheel, carbon fiber interior trim, which means you get the carbon fiber shift paddles, red M1, M2 buttons for your configuration buttons, Heated steering wheel, which again is an option on the M2, a standalone a la carte option. In front of me, I drive 8M version in M mode sport. Heads up display, another option. The rest of the curved display and carbon fiber interior trim. More carbon fiber interior trim on the center console. Embossed M emblem on the gear selector and stitching. As I mentioned, the sticker is on the window, so we'll go outside and talk about that momentarily. All right, so get in the back seat real quickly. All right, so here's the view from the back seat of the cockpit. The vents back here, but again, no more climate control, so that only existed on the 2023 model. Headroom. Headroom can be an issue. Then knee room, leg room, I think decent. 
let's make our way to the trunk here. Again, no kick to open and no power tailgate either. So cargo area is pretty decent size and you can also fold down the rear seats for even more space. All right, we'll take a pause here and then we'll pause at the window sticker. And so hopefully that focuses. All right, so starting price of the M2 is $63,200. The top paint adds another $650. Shadow line package for $300. $650 for the lighting package. Remote engine start. Again, I did not specify this thing. Someone else modified it. I would not order this on the store inventory car because you can add it afterwards. $300 for that. $200 for the steering wheel. He did steering wheel. $800 for the carbon fiber trim. Another $2,600 for the carbon fiber roof and 200 bucks for the parking assistant. And wireless device charging, I would not order on the car. Someone else added that to the car, so 200 bucks for that. Live cockpit, including the HUD for 1100, all told MSRP of this particular example, $71,195. All right, taking a step back here. Make our way to the hood. So, of course, underneath the hood is the S58 inline-six 3-liter twin-turbo engine, 453 horsepower, 406 torques. So, a great engine, plenty of power. Probably pretty sure it makes more than what BMW says it does. But that's it for a, another quick tour around the M2. We'll see you in the next video.